Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News and Flyers Nitty Gritty. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. Pro Joes. This is the next edition of the Ghostly Take, a Lehigh Valley Phantoms podcast. As we're going to preview the game against the Hershey Bears, the 5-1-2 and two Bears against our 4-1-2 and two Phantoms. Uh, both of these teams coming in are some of the better teams in the AHL. The Phantoms are two points behind the Bears, who have 12 points to the Phantoms, 10 points on the season thus far, to a 750 to a winning percentage for the Bears, to a 714 for the Phantoms. Our Phantoms have really just struggled against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Baby Penguins. Other than that, and the one loss, uh, obviously, that they got to Binghampton early on, uh, they've been cruising and smooth sailing. Obviously, Wisdom and uh, Willman have been the main factors of the team and the main producers, the guys... Uh, the main cojones, the guys that have really produced. Um, I thought in the three games Strom has been in, he's actually looked pretty good for being an ECHL or last year. Tanner Lozinski, who only has two points this far in five games, is actually a pretty damn good production. I think has looked really good, the Ohio State former six-round pick. Uh, he just seems to be great on the forecheck, kind of like a Knack-esque high-tenacity guy that you got in late rounds, where Knack was, of course, an earlier round pick that has worked out. So I think he's a guy coming from a great program of Ohio State. He's impressed me this far. Linus Sandin, you knew coming over from Sweden, he was a guy that you were going to be impressed with just by being the pro's pro, a guy that just knows how to play the game the right way. He's coming from a professional league over there. That's top five in the world. Obviously, the NHL is the top kahuna, but you have that league somewhere in the top five, wherever you would rank it, the Swedish league. So I think uh, Sandin's a guy that's been doing exactly what you hope. Um, LeBurge had a goal in his first game has looked solid. He's a guy nobody should give up on yet. David Kasha is great for Lehigh Valley. I think he's a guy that should eventually get more time in the NHL. So those are the guys, obviously, you're looking for. Hogberg is a minus five, but I think has sometimes looked better than his stats show, as same as Zamula, where both of those guys are just raw and still learning. Uh, Hogberg and Zamula, the ropes, and still getting through into the pros and learning the pros over here, so I think both of those guys are going to be fairly successful players. It just takes some time, like it did with guys like Phil Myers and Travis Sanheim, to really hit their stride. But obviously, a guy like Joe Snively, who's very good in the minors, uh, he has five points. You got to watch him. You got to watch some of the prospects like Lucas Johansson, obviously uh, McMichael, Connor McMichael, their 2019 first round pick for the Washington Capitals over with the Hershey Bears. Uh, you got to watch out for guys like him as well. He's a guy that is someone I was hoping the Flyers might be able to get their hands on. He has uh, six points, if my eyes without my glasses could see well. Six points, there we go, um, in eight games this far and is really killing the AHL as a youngster himself. Obviously, we got Zaid who's killing it as a youngster. I think the key factors to beating the Hershey Bears are you have to play as you did basically against Binghampton and against teams leading up, where when the Phantoms played against Hershey early on in their 2-1 to one win, they just defended them pretty well in their 5-4 to four comeback win. Uh, they didn't defend as well because it was 5-4, to four, but they just kept fighting, pushing, crawling, and scratching, and being able to figure things out. And if you keep playing with the bounce-back mentality, that Phantoms push that they've showed all season, other than being able to get outmatched by Wilkes-Barre these last two games, then you're going to be able to beat the Bears again. The Bears are one of the best teams in the AHL this far, but so are the Phantoms. It's 4-1-2 and two to 5-1-2. and two. I think this is going to be a hell of a game. I do predict, I think our Lehigh Valley Phantoms are going to be able to win it. I think it's going to be a lower scoring one again, in my opinion. So I'm going to say 3-1 to one Phantoms in this one. I don't think it'll be like the 5-4 game that we had on February um, 14th, if I recall that correctly. I think it will be more like the 2-1 to one game we had at Hershey on the uh, 6th of the month on the Saturday of February, so I think it'll be more like that game. We'll just be able to push for one more goal at home, and we'll be able to win 3-1 to one with some more fans in the stadium as well as the PPL Center, which is great to see. It was fantastic to have that atmosphere with fans, and it was great to have all of those guys and have it feel similar with all the 
great ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls there to an actual hockey game. Not fully there yet, but as similar as possible. And that was fantastic to see. Now, my key contributors that I think are going to step up in this game, Fitzgerald already has, who had six points on the season this far, Kevin Hayes' cousin, against Hershey to win one of the games in overtime, and Kasha was the other. So I think Fitzgerald, as a veteran, is going to continue to step up. Cal O'Reilly, who's nearing, I believe it was, if I remember correctly from the stat sheet, the 500 assist mark, which is a great feat to be able to have in the AHL, one of the AHL all-timers there is going to continue to step up as a veteran. And then you obviously look to the um, Wisdoms of the world and the Max Willman of the world. I think those guys are just going to continue to perform. I haven't seen if Logan Day excuse me, is healthy or not, and also if Ratcliffe's going to be playing, because that would be huge to be able to see Isaac Ratcliffe, big number 19, back in the game. So look out for him. If he's able to play, that would be huge. And uh, the big contributors are just going to be the veterans of Cal O'Reilly, as I said, Fitzgerald, Wisdom, and Wilman, the guys that have been contributing for us. I think it's just going to be stay aggressive, keep that shooting mentality, keep it going. We showed less aggression against the Wilkesbury uh, Scranton Baby Penguins, but we were not able to actually answer even in games that we showed less aggression like we were able to in that one game with Binghampton, where... The game they beat Binghampton in overtime on the 24th of February was nothing impressive. They just kept fighting and clawing where, for some reason, we had less aggression than any other games this year against Wilkes-Barre. I look for against an opponent like Hershey, that's always a great rivalry, always a great round and pounding game. The Phantoms a step up, be able to get a 3-1 to one victory. Behind, I would assume it's going to be Zane the Brick Wall Man McIntyre back in net again. Another great AHL performer, great AHL goalie we took from the Bruins, so the Bruins might be hurting our flyers in the NHL, but we took Zane from them to be a great AHL goaltender for us. And I believe in Felix Stanstrom as well. That was only his first game back, and I think he looked good in some facets, just looked rough rusty and that's to be expected but I think we're going to roll we're going to win this game three to one I thank you all for joining the ghostly take for flyers nitty gritty for the sports fanatic news please like comment and subscribe everybody this is pro joe joe boric also I will be covering the game tonight for flyers nitty gritty so please check out my twitter at jj boric 26 and bork 6789 on instagram I really do appreciate the support enjoy all the great hockey action everybody peace out